Hey friend, it's me Vasco with a quick announcement. We at the Scrum Master Toolbox podcast are organizing this year's Scrum Master Summit. For tickets and details on the summit, check out the URL bit.ly forward slash SM Summit 22. All one word S-M-S-U-M-M-I-T 22. And now on to the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Success Thursday this week with Jeroen de Jong. Hi, Jeroen. Welcome back. Hi, Fosco. Great to be back again. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you here. And today we're going to talk about success and what that means for us as Scrum Masters. But before that, do share with us, what's your favorite retrospective format and why? There isn't a retrospective that I actually do this, the same every time. Most of the time, I mix something up a little bit. Yeah, something I'm very passionate about is liberating structures. So that's at least the first tip. Uh, yeah, go look into liberating structures because there are a lot of structures that can, you can immediately start using as a uh, as a uh, retrospective, like eco cycle planning. But I know some of my colleagues uh, in previous podcasts already talked about that. So uh, I wanted to talk about another retrospective that uh, is basically a, a riff on the the M and M's retrospective. If you Google for M&Ms, you might find it. It's uh, where you prepare a couple of predefined questions. Uh, and yeah, you have a, a bag of M&Ms with a couple of colors. Uh, yeah, every M&M has, has a different color. For instance, there's uh, the, the blue one, uh, yeah, what went well, what should we keep doing? Or uh, yellow one, uh, what went uh, less well, what should we stop doing? And you can think about all, all these kind of questions. Yeah, if you, you're in the office, yeah, M&M's is, is most of the time fun because everybody likes candy, everybody likes sweets. So just have that, the list of questions or the list of topics that you want to discuss there. And just everybody blindly picks one of the colors and, and answers that question for him or herself. This is basically the basic. And how I tend to, to create a riff on that is uh, mostly on the, the online uh, settings that I was been in the last couple of years is, uh, for instance, the Wheel of Names. Uh, wheelofname.com, you can create a, a wheel of fortune. And then every dial, or every part of the, the, the wheel is a color. So then you ask to ask people, well, tell me when, whenever I should uh, press a, a turn and then the, 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 the wheel starts turning and then somebody gets one of the colors on the wheel there. And uh, another way I did it with, uh, with dice that you just roll the dice, you have a number one to six and then one to six corresponds to one of the questions and you can answer it. You can even, if you really want to go wild, and I did it a couple of times, is create a board game out of it. So uh, for instance, uh, Monopoly, just a big, large square with every other color uh, on the, the pieces on the board and just yeah, play the game with your team. Everybody starts at, at go, uh, throw the dice and everybody goes to the next question and you can get a Somebody should do that, like the Agile Monopoly, because there's a lot of fun things we could talk about. So in, instead of trying to get all the 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 squares in the in the board, you you would just get different questions, and and you would have like this discussion in the team. So if if you're a creative with games and you're listening to this, why not just send me the link? I'll I'll help you promote it. Sounds like a great idea to facilitate the conversation, if not a retrospective. I, I can even send you the link because there is already a link. Uh, somebody already created it. Awesome. So I will send it to you so you can include it in the show notes. Yeah, absolutely. We'll put it in the show notes. All right, cool. So now we go into the success question because, of course, that's what we need to be focusing on. How do we succeed as Scrum Masters? Jeroen, what does that mean for you to succeed as a Scrum Master? As a scrum master, you succeed if if every everything goes well and every, uh, products are going delivered, everybody's happy. But that's that's always very hard to 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 measure or, or to 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 actually quantify because yeah, every team, every company that I worked for, there are always a, a lot of things going wrong as well, or a lot of things that 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 still need improvement. And one thing for myself, uh, I also did it with the the, the last couple of uh, of teams that I coached is uh, yeah that there was. So many things that we still wanted to improve. So it was sometimes hard to 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 actually see that the the, the end the, the light at the end of the tunnel is just uh, yeah celebrate all the successes, also small successes, and note them down. So uh, one of the things that that at, at least as a team we're doing is uh, yeah during retrospective uh, yeah with the, even the default questions what did we uh, do, do good to what what went well last sprint actually stand by uh, uh, take a minute to also appreciate that so. What actually went well and how, how did that, what changed there? So uh, this went well last sprint, but uh, how did it went in previous sprint? What, what, what actually was that different? What, what made it possible? What, what happened there? 
And also for myself, uh, if I look back at, uh, uh, at assignments, I had a couple of uh, assignments where I was at a team. And when I had to leave because my uh, yeah the, the contract was about to expire, there are some uh, weird rules in the Netherlands that you sometimes cannot exceed a couple of years uh, on on a, on, a, on a job. I wasn't I still wasn't really pleased on the the result that I booked. The the, the team got hustled a couple of times. Uh, a lot of things changed in the company, so the the, the, the really self uh, the, the the really. Uh, the team that I wanted to, to to make out of the people that were there, it still wasn't at the level that I wanted them there. But during the, the period I was working there, I, I take a notebook. Also, it's part by the getting things done, just get things out of my head and put it somewhere. And I was when I was reflecting on that, I said, well, uh, yeah, actually, when I started the, the daily scrum, it took hours and now we actually managed to keep it within 15 minutes most of the time even within 10 minutes people actually uh, start speaking up if i take a look at uh, the retrospective notes uh, now everybody in the team actually has has a contribution there instead of only one or two people uh, if i take a look at the time spent in refinements in planning sessions we used to have uh, yeah almost whole day planning sessions and a lot of refinements in between and now we actually have uh, one or two hours of, of planning and even refinements are yeah it, it's it's getting there. So it's still not really quantifiable, but you, you can see the improvements there. And of course, as well, the, yeah, the, 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 the feedback that you can get from one of the things I really liked in uh, one of my previous assignments was that, that somebody told me, well, uh, I, I really love how you, how you did all the retrospective. You, you actually, uh, it was fun, but you, you also helped me understand the, the, the power of what a retrospective is. And it, it, uh, it made me uh, realize that there are so many different ways to, yeah, to learn and to improve. Yeah, and I think that's, that's a, a great reminder for us that very often just keeping track of those small things like the feedback that you got. Hey, I like your retrospectives and how long does a, a daily stand take? for this team and do they come to planning with properly defined stories or, or or are they just fuzzy ideas not even written in any format that the team has agreed to it like all of those things that we write down become reminders both of course of what's going well but they also act as a fuel for our reflection about what's not going so well because of the things that are not going well are not going to be in that list and let's say that one of the things that you want to to give the team is this ability and ownership over the improvements that they bring after the retrospective. If that's not on the list of successes, you can look at it and say, okay, so there's an area I need to work on. So I think it's a very simple tool, yet also very effective in terms of focusing our attention when working with teams. Yeah, and it's even a little bit on, on top of that, but by, by uh, keeping that record to, to save your successes, you can also reflect once in a while on everything that you do accomplished, but also whenever you encounter an issue again, uh, also take a look at all the successes you booked in the past, because sometimes we are now recognized well we're where again our, our daily scrum is taking more than fifty minutes. Well, we we conquered this again, so uh, let's think back. What, what what did we do then? What what is different now? So how, what can we learn, and what have we learned already? And then it's also most of the time a realization for the team. Well, oh yeah, that's that's true. Back then we were. Yeah, that there wasn't really a structure and everybody was this, or we, we didn't have a goal or something was missing. And then that's exactly what, what is missing again. So let's, yeah, let's commit to us again. Let's remind us again what, what we actually need to do and learn from there. Absolutely. Great story and also a great set of tools. So thank you for sharing that, Jeroen. You're welcome. Hey friends, it's Vasco again, now with a bit longer announcement. I'm part of the team that is behind the Global Scrum Master Summit, the conference dedicated to the Scrum Master role. If you're a Scrum Master, the Scrum Master Summit is the place to learn, to share, and of course, to meet new friends. We will have lots of live sessions where you can meet and network with other Scrum Masters from the whole globe. So make sure you check it at bit.ly forward slash SM Summit 22. We have several amazing teams notes and seven tracks that feature people like you and of course thought leaders sharing their insights their knowledge and helping you become an awesome scrum master you can check out all of the details of the summit including the keynotes announced the track chairs and much more at bit.ly forward slash sm summit 22 that's all one word that's bit.ly forward slash sm s-u-m-m-i-t and the numeral two two i'll see you on the conference floor